Hey guys and welcome to another First Impressions video. The video game series in which we look at a recently released game and I give you my first thoughts and impressions on it. Today we're looking at the van game which is deceptively deep. What I mean by that is on the surface it looks like not really that much but then you start playing it and you realise that there is an entire world of possibilities and different mini games that you can play and are actually surprisingly fun. As always, we'll go through the options first, and then we'll jump straight into the game and show you what it's all about. One thing I will say, however, is this start screen with it swaying from left to right is fucking awful and I hate it. That being said, let's jump straight into those options. Alright, options. So, unsurprisingly, with a game that is 16-bit style and essentially with no actual moving parts in it, there's not a lot here. There's, there's not a huge amount to go to. Um, one thing I would say is it doesn't make it very clear when you've selected an option of these three or not. The only way I knew that I'd actually hit full screen was because when I hit it, it went full screen. There's no real showing that it's confirmed or denied. It would be nice if maybe this lit up or changed to an X or something when it wasn't selected. Your volumes are set to high and you've got click volume as well, which is quite nice. Um, but other than that, there's, there's no options here unsurprisingly okay so what is van game van game is set in 2021 and you get to choose um, a van and it's set where there's no pandemic it's all gone away and we can now travel again so we're going to go across america and find many different national parks or as many national parks as possible to fill up a passport essentially and there's mini games and things that you can do um and you basically just explore and it's actually quite fun so we're going to choose the hippy dippy because why not you get some prepare points to start with it is a survival game and it is rather it, it it's not great so we're going to put all of our points into food because you're going to need it we're going to put some into first aid and we're going to put some into tires i'm not really too bothered about toolkits um and a hundred dollars to start off it's fine you got three difficulty modes there and then you can choose uh, different characters. Now, there's no bio to this. There's no real rhyme or reason. It's just choose whoever you want to, to sort of work with. They've all got different names. But other than that, they're just portraits from what I can tell. And then you, you start. And basically what happens is you roll along the road. And you would get different... Um, events that happen right so you will see here like there's got a bag lying on the road you ignore it you, you know you you find it and you get bitten by stake so you have to use first aid etc and you will go along and you know each event will have a positive or a negative outcome depending on what you choose then you will get to a city once you get to a city you'll be able to stock up do some tasks to earn some money uh, play some mini games which are actually quite fun and then once you uh, pass through the city you will then get to a park once you get to a park you will have to take a quiz in order to move on from that if you fail the quiz you will have to wait a certain amount of time before you can take the quiz again and you're basically stranded there and that's where things go wrong because if you're stranded in a place and you don't have any supplies left because you've made bad choices you will die before you are able to take the test again which is what happened to me on my first save so here you go you got you draw your own wheels you you can get a hundred dollars and one repair quit you've only got 24 hours before you can do that though so you will need to rest uh same here you can do the magnet game but again that's only available after 25 hours i feel like this is a problem because this is going to slow the game down and make it way harder than it needs to be I don't understand why I have to wait a certain amount of time before I can take the tasks. If I've come in, I should just be able to do the task. That shouldn't be a thing. The same with the passport. I feel it, it kind of takes away from, from the experience. I feel like it arbitrarily makes it more difficult when it doesn't need to. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It, it seems a bit weird. It seems like a really nice idea. It seems like it's there's a lot 
more to it than first meets the eye, right? You can go to the shop, you can see what's going on and how many miles you've done, what you've got left. You can go to the garage and get upgrades if you've got enough um, money to do so. So yeah, there's, there's a lot there, but I feel that this rest mechanic ruins the game, in my opinion. It, it, may, it slows down the pace too much. It adds too many things to it that doesn't need to be done. You take that out or you improve it and you've got a really solid game here. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Ciao, ciao.